Good afternoon and thank you for watching Fishing with Dom. I am here today to show you a rig that I personally use to catch suckers with. This is, works really well this time of year when they're migrating up into rivers to spawn, but this also works very well in the summertime where they may spend a lot of their life. Now let's start off quick by looking at what tackle is needed. You need your hook of choice. Now this is a single shank in a size 6 octopus hook to be exact. You can go with the treble hook, you can go with a hook a little bit smaller, a little bit larger. The key to sucker fishing is you, it isn't that detail oriented or specific. So in case your local tackle shop doesn't have exactly what I'm using today or what you might be looking for, don't get too hung up on it because suckers aren't too big on the presentation itself. Next I have a three-way swivel followed by a wire cross lock snap and then you'll also have your weight of choice and here's what we do to create a rig for suckers I take my hook and I will just use a basic fisherman's knot maybe a clinch knot sometimes on 8 to 10 pound line whether or not it be a monofilament or a fluorocarbon totally up to you I prefer the 8 or the 10 size just because it's strong enough still relatively thin and I can work this around cover such as rocks and logs and have the abrasion resistant tendency, you know, where if I still fish with it for a little bit and hook on to a nice sucker, he's not going to be going anywhere. All right, so we have that tied on right there. And we're going to tie the end of this leader line to the swivel. Right on. It's good to always moisten your line before you go on to tie a knot, so keeps your knot as strong as possible and the friction doesn't wear it down. It could mean, you know, the losing the fish of a lifetime in some cases. There we go. And then tighten. And boom, just like that, we're tied to the three-way rig and we're connected to the hook. What I do next, this is something that I started doing a few years ago. You take this cross-lock wire snap and you open it up all of the way just like that it takes a little bending sometimes if your fingernails aren't long enough or if your fingers aren't strong enough use a pair of pliers that will get those open in a jiffy and you take your three-way rig and if your leader is coming off on this end you're going to put that wire snap on the bottom and here's why I will show you we just maneuver oh, if I can get it gee whiz it's a tight one. There we go. Just like that, onto the bottom. Uh, make sure you bend that wire back over so it's not going anywhere. And then you take your weight and slide it onto that, ta that leftover end of the wire. And boom. That weight is not going anywhere. I started doing this when I go steelhead fishing. I started doing this when I go sucker fishing also. And I fish in some really, really loggy waters and I couldn't tell you the last time I honestly lost a weight with this setup. Granted, for my main line from this point to my rod and my reel, I'm using generally a 14 pound braid, generally speaking my walleye jigging rod, and I'm able to feel whenever I'm working this presentation into a snag and I can pull it out no problem because of all this metal. You know, I'll lose more hooks and leaders than I do weights. In all honesty, I'm not kidding, I've probably lost I'd say two weights in about three years with this method. It's, it's just crazy how well it works. And so we have the finished product, this three-way rig with the cross lock down to the weight, and then we have our hook of choice. Now when it comes to bait for sucker fishing, I run to the local grocery store or dollar store, wherever you can, get yourself some sponges, general colored cleaning kitchen sponges. You know, they might be three dollars for four of them. I always get the multicolored pack, and I cut them up into smaller chunks, just like this. In retrospect, you know, it's not very, very big at all, and very cheap. I've got yellows, I've got greens, I've got purples and pinks. Some some days they're preferring the yellows. Some days I catch a lot more on combination colors like green and pink. But very cheap bait, you know. You don't have to worry about going through a couple of sponges a day. I can fill my container here with, I'd say, only two sponges. It's a lot more bait than you think it is. So you take your hook and your, let's use this piece of, piece of bait right there, 
and there's no wrong way to rig this as long as that hook effectively goes into that bait just like that you're good to go now once you cast and get this sponge in the water it's going to swell up appear to be a little bit larger and that's going to be just fine because you're going to cast upstream and work this rig down the current and you're going to feel that sucker hit this and you're going to have a great time that's definitely for sure pardon me there well I hope you learned something from this video uh, I've kept it simple this is what I use to catch suckers and usually when I go out I'll catch anywhere between 60 and 80 on my own on a decent day I never thought sucker fishing was going to be as easy as drifting a piece of kitchen sponge but it is and it's definitely one of my highlights when it comes to fishing Thank you for watching. If you have any video recommendations or ideas or anything you'd like to share, please let me know. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.